say Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give our praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahashah, Ba'ashem, Rukakudash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, the ones who told us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful let spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aqua to us in Selicic in his truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Sha'ala, and along with me I have the brother Yaikwab Yahawada. Um, we wanted to speak a little more on the on the issue of of the Gentiles, the Israelites, the Israelites who became Gentiles. But before we start, you know, we'd like to point out the fact that you know lately there's been there's been this spirit in which we've been warned by Apostle Paul that you know the time will come where they would not give heed to sound doctrines, they'll go after doctrines of devils, you know. So there is a spirit in which you know we've noticed um the powers that be, which is Esau, Edom, you know, they're sending different agents, you know, and their job is that of sowing um, the seed of, of doubt into the minds of those who are new into this truth. That's why you really need to be stable in this truth, because if you're not stable in this truth, you know, with all the enchantments out there, with all the witchcraft and wickedness that these people are doing, with different agents like Vokab Malone and his little minions, you know, these people can get you confused and get you out of this truth. Remember, many are called but few are chosen, you know? So, you know, the heathens, the real natural heathens who are the other nations outside of Israel, they are not happy that we are waking up to our heritage. They're not happy that we're waking up to this truth, okay? So they are angry about it and the book of Revelation 11 speaks about it. In fact, we're going to read from that. It is Revelation 11 verse 11. It says, And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh Bashim Yahashai entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahashai entered into, into them. Now, if you read from the verse before, it says, Our dead body where all was was scattered you can read that you say and, and then okay. verse 8 it says and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified so that city represents America Babylon and now you know Babylon rules over the world man you know with their democracy and everything everything goes back to the ancient Roman ways you know so they've ruled over the world all these years before coming into the truth you know we were all dead actually remember the scripture tells you that um he that departs from the way of truth just roughly paraphrasing shall 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 con shall be in the congregation of the dead if you can read if, if you get it book of proverbs congregation of the dead okay proverbs that's it Yeah, this is Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16. It says, The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So the man that wandered out of the way of understanding, what's the way of understanding? This law, statutes, and commandments go back to Revelation. Man. You know, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, the way the Most High has, you know, established for us to go through. If you wander out of that way, then you would be in the congregation of the dead. So those people who don't have this truth, they are actually dead, you know, they are actually dead. And we were also once dead before we came into this truth, you know. So in that scripture right there, it says, And they saw their dead body, you know, the spirit of the Most High Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, entered into the, those dead bodies, and they started walking, which is this truth, man, you know. This truth started by a man um, named Abba Bivens, you know, they passed it all down to our elders and apostles, starting from the elder apostle Taha, you know, and the teachers that were before him, you know, and that truth came to us. This truth has given us life. We've stood on our feet, you know, we're no longer going around and following the ways of this kingdom, which is the kingdom of, of, of the Edomites, which is the kingdom of devil itself, you know. 
So this thing is not, is not really nice to them because they don't want us to wake up. That's why you see there was a certain time when we were in slavery, they, 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 they banned us from, you know, from, um, reading. From, from reading the scriptures, you know. It was a crime. They would, they would kill you if they find you reading, man. You get scourged and punished. So now that knowledge has come and that knowledge is divine because it's a knowledge that even the so-called um, professors of this kingdom, the so-called masters, those who spend a lot of money and go to these um, um, theological uh, seminars, um, the other Apostle Taha called them um, theological cemeteries, you know, they spend a lot of money but they can't get the knowledge that's been given to us, man. And we are just mere niggas, man. We didn't go, to, we didn't finish our schools. We didn't do all that university. But the Most High has blessed us with that knowledge that these people cannot gain sales. So they are not happy about this. That's why you have different um, agents being sent around, you know, to, 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 to sow seeds of doubt. And that goes back to the, what do you call it? To the parable of Yahweh Shai, the parable of the sower. Remember, when the sower sows the seed, then um, the devil comes and, and it picks the seed off just like a bird, you know. If you're sowing seed and your seed does not go into the ground real well, what happens? The birds, they fly and they eat up that seed, you know. So those birds that come and eat up that seed represent this, um, these agents, man. Because I'm saying this because uh, uh, last week I was doing some video, you know, I and the brother, we did uh, a video. And the video got views, man, you know. And I started going, getting different comments. And you can tell these people are agents, man. All they care about is salvation is going to be for everybody. Salvation is going to be for everybody. But salvation is not for everybody. Salvation is only for Israel. Other nations are going to be saved, but they will be slaves. They will be slaves under the Israelites in, in, in the kingdom. You know, we can't stress this enough. The book, the Bible itself was not written for all the nations. The, the most uh, the most time himself says that um, the nations are counted but like sp like spit onto him, you know. So why why is it going to someone that you call spit, someone that you don't regard? Why would you give that person salvation, you know? So what they're trying to do is to sow in seed of doubt into those who are new that are coming into this truth that are learning. That's why you really need to be rooted in this truth, you know. Watch and pray. You know, for the devil is just right at the corner, ready to sift you off, man, ready to take off that that seed. That's why we're told to hold strong that which we have until your house shy returns. There are lots of agents lately sowing seeds of doubt. So having said that, we're going to touch on this issue of um of Israelites being the Gentiles, you know. So let's start from the book of Ezekiel, the twentieth chapter, um thirty-nine. Uh, this is this, uh, Ezekiel 20 verse 39 it says, As for you, O house of Israel, thus says the Lord, thy power, the Lord power, go you, serve you everyone his idols, and hereafter also, if you will not hearken. So hold on, now we did, uh, the lesson we did um, when we went out to teach, you know, I and the brother Yehawada, um, we actually went into the history of how uh, people were carried captives, how they find themselves in various parts of the world, how they became Gentiles. Okay, now you have natural Gentiles who are the rest of the nations outside of Israel. Remember, Israel is a holy people. The word holy goes to set aside. You know, we're chosen people, man. You know, but the thing there is, you being an Israelite can also become a heathen. You can become a Gentile. Once you start embracing the ways of other nations and you start comporting yourself like them and start doing the wickedness that they do, before the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, you are seen as a Gentile. Even back then in Jerusalem, you know, you had um, the, the southern tribe that was left, which is Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. You know, they would look down on the northern tribes that were carried away captives, you know. They would look down on those who were carried away captives by the Greeks, you know, and they called them dogs, man, you know. That's why Yahweh Shai said to that woman that, you know, um, we, we don't give the food for food of the children to the dogs. 
That woman was a Gentile, but she was an Israelite Gentile. You get what I'm saying? So, what makes us a Gentile? Serving other idols. And remember, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, He controls everything. You know, He has. This is the beautiful movie He has written, and He is the one directing it in order to fulfill everything that He has promised to make us judges on this earth. So He made us to heir because there is a book, book of um, Isaiah 66 that tells you that you have made us heir. You have made us sin. You know, so the Most High has given that spirit unto the Israelites to go after idols. In fact. This word right here, being said by the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai, is a command, man. It says, As for you, O house of Israel, thus set Yahweh power, go ye, serve ye, everyone is idol. So you see, it's the Most High, you know, putting that spirit on us to go forth and serve idols. But those who are going to receive this truth, that are going to be saved, they've been destined right from the beginning. Remember Jeremiah, the first chapter. It tells you in the third verse that the Most High knows us even from inside the womb of our mother. You know, He knows everything that we're going to go. You know, He knows everything. So, my, my father, let me get that scripture. Yeah, real quick. That is um, Jeremiah 1 3, if I'm not mistaken. No, the one that's led, led us to serve. Karen yeah. Khan, 66. I can't remember, maybe it might be. Yeah. Okay, 63. This um, Isaiah 63 verse 7, he said, O Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our hearts from thy fear? Return for thy servant's sake, the tribe of thy inheritance. Oh, that's deep, man. You know, so the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, is the one who made us to err. You know, is the one who made us. To move away. That's, you see, Isaiah say, return unto us our inheritance. What's that inheritance? The sons of the power. Yashar Allah. Israel means the sons, the princes of the power, man. That inheritance has been lost. If you want to add something. Yeah, I, mean, I just want to say, uh, everything boils down to, you know, we have to know the good. We have to know the bad in order to appreciate the good. You know, we have to know the both sides, you know. To be better judges. Exactly. So... You see, the Most High has hardened our heart and he has caused us to err, you know. But it is promised that a remnant is going to be, is going to wake up back. Because once you err away from the, uh, from the way of the Most High, just like the brother read in the book of Proverbs, you become, you become a dead man, man, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's why you see the world, the people moving all around, they, 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 they're just walking after all different kinds of vain careers, vain things you know and this world that we're living in right now just like the lesson i did yesterday is an illusion man you know it's a total illusion so you must really be asleep in order to follow the ways of this world you know the woke ones are the ones the most high has poured the spirit upon them he has given them the knowledge and understanding of this truth they've left their wicked ways and they've started calling back on the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and has returned to their inheritance. Now let's get the book of um, Jeremiah 17.4. You know? Jeremiah 17 verse 4, it says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cast thee to serve. So you see, it's all been prophesied. It's all been written, you know? We shall discontinue from our, uh, from our inheritance, man, from our heritage. Now, once you discontinue from your heritage, what do you become? You become a stranger to that heritage, man. Gentiles. You become a Gentile. You know, there is no two way about it. You see, Christianity, what Christianity is trying to prove to you, they're coming up with <laughs> philosophies. They're putting words into the mouth of the most high Yahweh Shumi That's what they're doing. And remember, woe unto them that add to this word and take away from these words, man. They will skip all these things. They will skip the full story of the Bible that tells you that it's speaking about a chosen people. <laughs> this book is a book of a chosen lineage, man. Uh, how we needed a savior to come redeem us back into that heritage. They skip all that. And what they want to do is try to include everyone, you know. They want to make it universal, you know, like Catholic. Catholic is a universal. Ah, but God. that's not what the Bible is talking about. The Bible is specifically written 
for the children of Israel, you know, from all the way from Adam down to Abraham, you know, it's, it is the story of the sons of God, you know, not for all the whole people. We are the person of interest in the book, you know. All right. As you can see. So, yeah, you can continue. I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land whose star knoweth not. So, the most time will cause us to cease from our heritage. Then we're going to serve our enemies in which we're serving our enemies today, you know. But just like I said, by the grace of the Most High, Yahweh, Shemi, Oshai, we've woken up, you know. We are no longer, you know, serving the same God of our enemy. Our enemy has brought before us Christianity. They brought before us Jesus. They brought before us Allah. They brought before us um, um, Horus, Isis, Buddha, and all these things, you know. That's what our enemies have brought before us. They brought before us all the deities of the other nations. But remember, we had a pact with the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, and we signed that pact by blood, as written in the book of Exodus, the 21st chapter. You know? So you see, the Most High is the one who has made all these things to happen. And remember, once you're serving under your enemy, what do you become? What's a servant? For example, if I had a servant, if I was a servant in, in, in the brother's house, do you think I would do my will? No. I must do as my master uh, commands me to do. You know? I can't be in my, in my master's house and do anything that I want. So that's what has happened. They beat religion into us. They forced us to follow their religion. So that's why I always mention, by the grace of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, because it's of no merit that we are in this truth. The Most High, it is His mercy, man. It is that grace. He has chosen us from the beginning that we are going to wake up in these end times and return back to our inheritance. So now what we're doing is we are practicing. Though we can't keep all these laws perfectly, you know, now we are actually in that period of grace. You know, that's why Yahweh Shai came. Because all the commandments in its technicality we can't keep them. So we are not saved by the commandments. But the way of righteousness is walking in those commandments. You know? At least try to the best of our To ability. the best of your ability, you know, just like the brother said. Right. So this can't because speak. right now we are under slavery. You know, when you're in prison, you are like the brother said, you know, you don't have a will of your own. You follow the rules given to you in the prison. So that right. is we are we are like people, we are captive people. Can't. You know, there's no way we can hundred percent you know uh, uh, um, keep the whole laws you know uh -huh. carry out our statutes judgment and commandment you know we are not judges right now we are captive we are slaves you know can't 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 well said man so let's finish here i will cause thee to serve the enemies in the land kusta knoweth not for you have kindled a fire in my anger who shall burn forever and that forever is for a long time okay for a long time but that time is coming to an end in which that anger is going to be cut short but the fury of that the, the, the fierceness of that anger is about to come which is the time of jacob's trouble in which we're stepping into you know now let's go to the book of um romans sorry so maybe there was still in between that romans the ninth chapter we're going to read from 24th verse it's Roman 9, 24. It says, Even us whom he has called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Okay. So you see, this is where, um, what do you call it? Christians, they bug out in the scripture, man. When they see this scripture, and when they see the book of Acts, that it says um, salvation for the Jews and, and the Greeks, you know, they go a wire, man. They just... They just run. They run with that. They run with that scripture, man. <laughs> yeah. You see, you see, you see, you see the Gentiles. <laughs> but remember that our last two captivity was under the Greeks and under the Romans. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the Romans are progenitors of the Greeks. Not speaking of the original ones who were Etruscans, okay? The Minoans, I'm, uh, sons of Japheth, mm -hmm. I'm speaking of when Edomite got into power through the lineage of um, Alexander the Great, okay? When it got into power, the Edomites got into power and they took over the kingdom of, of, of the Greeks. Mm -hmm. Then later they made their way into the kingdom of the Romans, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So these were the last two major captivities we went into. So what, what did it cause us to be? It made us become like the Greeks. Exactly. Now, if, you, if we go into the book of, um, the book of um, Maccabees, get those few precepts in the first chapter, those few precepts. We already touched on that, you know, because we were forced to walk according to their ways. Many of our brothers, they started doing according to, the, to those people, you know, they lost their, they totally lost their heritage and identity, man, which is the worst thing that can happen to a man, you know, and it's called brainwashing. If your enemies, you, that, no wonder you see when the enemies, they get you at first, they target one thing. They target the coming generation, man. They brainwash that generation. They try to make them um, the same as they are. You know, this is this is there is no there is this is not this is not rocket science, man. I mean, and secondly, they you know Moses made everything simple in our own time, the way we understand it. Example, slavery. If you go and watch all the movies of slavery, you see how they beat the shit out of our mind. You know? So it's very simple to understand. It's, it's like the brother said, it's not rocket science. You know, God. every master that bought you. We, we, we rebrand you, you know, take one, you have to forget your name, to give your, your language, name. you know, we have to give you his law, his ways, his statue, you know, that's it. This is how we lost our heritage and become Gentiles. It's, you know, it's very simple to understand. So you see, just like the brother said, you know, he said something real beautiful about the movies, man. You know, the Most High has made it really easy for us because he, he has made possible, he has kept the spirit on his Edomites to, to make movies exactly. in which you can watch those movies and get understanding. But people watch movies and get more dumb, man. Yeah, those movies are messages, you know, to reveal things for the new coming generation. This is how, this is what happened to you. This is how you became Americans. Today you are now fighting for uh, gay rights, you know. No more... Black your, lives matter. Ah, black lives matter, <laughs> you see. You know. They have forgotten who they were before. They were people before they arrived in, in, in America, in, in all part of different world where they came from. Even before they arrived in Africa. Even, yeah, even before we arrived in Africa. We have our ways, we have our customs, we have our languages, our language, you know. So you see, we lost all that, yeah. you know, due to captivity and we became Gentiles. It's simple, man. And all this is we are prophesied. Just like in Jeremiah 17 verse 4, you know, you will discontinue from your heritage. heritage. What does that mean? How? how? Because everything so, is going to play out. You won't just wake up one day and forget who you are. No. It's not like that. No? Can, 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 can. No, as you read. Yeah, you can read. This is Maccabees 1 verse 11. It says, First Maccabees. First Maccabees 1 verse 11. It says, in those days, when, in those days, when they are out, of Israel, wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, let us go. So sorry, you see, even the prophet Jeremiah said it, that amongst my people are wicked men. Yeah. You understand? Amongst the sons of Israel, it's not that we are the seed of the wicked, but we have wicked Israelites that do the bidding of the wicked, in which they need to go through a stage of, um, a stage of chastisement before they can come back to their senses. And many of them are going to pay daily with their life, man, with terrible debts, you know, in these times that are coming. So when they come back in the kingdom, they're going to come back into their normal senses. Okay, so these are the wicked that's been spoken of in our, of our people, read on. Yeah. Who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. And the funny thing is, Esau has made this society drunken with his philosophies and his lies that even our people that are left in the other side of the world they are all fighting to come into his country they are all fighting to to have his citizenship to just be like him man right. they are all fighting very with all their might to be like him and you have certain jake children you know that are born here and they know their roots actually but they prefer to represent these countries man just like in soccer, when you watch football, you see in, in Italian Italian team, you see someone like Balotelli, you know, his parents are, are actually from Ghana, you know, but he chose to play for, for, for the Italians, you see. And playing for Italy, you know, he cut all hell, racism and all that BS, you know, 
Look got him bogged out. Look I heard that he was also adopted by an Italian man. He was, ado he, he was adopted by an Ida Italian family, you know. That's, that, that's, that's why he got Barotoli. Yeah, that's why he's in, in, in. <laughs> So you see, you know, that same thing has been going on for a long time. You know, they, there was the wicked from the wicked men from Israel. They, 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 they persuaded others and told them to, to go and make a, a, covenant. a covenant with, with, with the heathens. And once you make a covenant with the heathen, what's, what's a covenant? Agreement. The agreement, the contracts, man. Yeah. You're, 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 you want to be like them, exactly. you know? You want to abide in the same law. Uh, which means that you have to abandon your own laws then embrace their own laws and follow their ways, yes. you know, which makes you just like them. Yeah, scripture said that two uh, work together. Said, said they, 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 they agree, can, can, yeah. can. So you can read on. Yeah. Who persuaded many, say, let us go and make a covenant with the hidden that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had many sorrows. Just like now, in this you know, society that we live now, people believe it is fun to, to live that, that crazy life that you're pushing before your eyes, man. Yeah. People believe it's fun. They believe righteousness is boring, you know? They believe it's sorrowful. But hey, <laughs> I've lived both worlds, man. I've lived fully the other world. The Most High gave me the opportunity to, to live fully that other world. So when I come into the truth, I have no excuse. Yeah. You know, I'm not tempted by nothing anymore, you know. Yeah, just like King Solomon, he said, I gave my heart to folly. You know? Just like King Solomon, I gave my heart to folly. So many brothers, and before coming into this truth, they, they, they were demons, man, like me. I was, <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't see my past me, man. <laughs> you shouldn't see my past me. You wouldn't even believe, man. You know, so I had the opportunity to, 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 to follow those ways and everything. But now that I'm in the truth, I can tell you the way... You would want to be is in this truth man peace of mind gentleness you know you enjoy yeah we have our good times man you know it is beauty man and this this truth is beauty it's right it's perf is a perfect beauty man but the people you see being in that other side of the world they believe that you know the ways of life of these demons of these devils you know is the is the most enjoyable life so far but that's wrong man and that's wrong death. that's the way of death and that life man is just from one problem to another from one problem to another man my when i went when i was in the world i would move from one problem to the next from one problem to another one man there was no rest man yeah because the scripture said there's no peace for the wicked can and it was madness can and it was madness man from one problem to another man so this is exactly what was going on then. They thought that, you know, following our ways was boring. They wanted, they wanted to follow the wayward ways of the hidden and become like the hidden. Let's read on. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people. So told... this device pleased them well. Remember, our people are quick to do evil, man. Right. You know, our people are really quick to do evil. So such devices are going to please them. Right. That's why they have... Um, all these different agents right there on the TV, they, they are paid, you know, to show you things and just, you know, divert your attention totally from who you are. They make those stupid, what do you call it, those stupid challenges on TikTok, stupid yeah. challenges on Instagram, and people turn to stupid zombies, man, yeah. you know? Then, certain of the people, we are so forward, hearing that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the hidden. So the king of those Edens were actually happy. They gave them the ordinances and they, they give them the license to go ahead, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're welcome. You're one of us, man. Yeah. And you see, this wicked, they're always happy when they see our people, you know, joining hand to do things with them. Yeah. You know, you have lots of, when I was in the world, man, I used to move with, with a crew of 15, I don't know. A lot of friends, man, because they love you when you're doing, you, you, you're crazy and you're doing your, the madness that they do, you know, they love you, they, they embrace you, they hail you, hey, that's good, but once you come into this truth, ways separate, just like the brother said uh, at the beginning, can two walk together if they be not 
you know, if they accept, accept, accept the being accept the being agreement, you know. Verse fourteen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the custom of the heathen. So you see all those dreams that you see they put on all those um they, at, at the beginning they used to do them naked man. You know that's why you see those those people that are doing the gymnast whatever, they are almost naked man. Even what they put on, it looks like it's not even clothes, man. You see the girls that do those long jumps in the Olympics. They wear just pants, man. Right. You know, underwears, and they do that thing. You know, everything goes back to the to, to the Greeks. You know, and our people embraced this thing. They liked it. You know, they they became Greeks. That's why you have people like Alexander Tiberius, who was a Hebrew Israelite, but he was he, he was fighting for the cause of the Romans. You know, Alexander Tiberius was a Hebrew who joined. Um, who, who became um, the commander, and I believe it was it was the commander of the troop that was led by um, by Titus, you know, the son of Vespasian, and he was the one who led the siege of Jerusalem. So you see what I'm saying. Our people has mingled with those people. They've lost their senses. They've become like those people. Hence come the word gentile. Of the Israelites, Israelites became Gentiles. Yeah, I want to say for you. This is Proverbs 12, verse 26. It says, The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces him. Can you see? <laughs> this scripture says it all, man. The righteous is more excellent than than the, the, than the neighbor, man. We are a chosen people. We have more salt. We're supposed to be a royal. Yes, people. we are good to go by ourselves, man. Not not jumping in Olympic like <laughs> monkey, you know. <laughs> Being naked, running, uh, man. We are not supposed to be in all these oh fucking sports, you man. know. We are naked, jumping like a monkey, throwing basketball. No, we are royal. Royalty don't do that, you know. We are supposed to sit and watch them entertain, you know. We are supposed to uh, rule the world. You don't see President Trump or. Biden come and jumping around like a monkey, you know, doing participating in the Olympics. No, so we are seduced by seeing the things they do. This is why we went up to them, you know, they gave us our license. Then we became like them. This is what uh, 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 Maccabees is saying, you know. Wow, can anyway, um. Just jump to Khan, mm. yeah, that, that precept right there. Then yeah. we'll go back to Romans. Yeah, Maccabee, first Maccabee is first, uh, 115, the last one, he said, And made themselves uncircumcised, and forsook the holy covenant, and joined themselves to the heathen, and we are sold to do mischief. So you see, we made ourselves uncircumcised, you know? Gentile, this is what you know, and we made ourselves uncircumcised physically, okay? We were physically because if you read on, it tells you that uh, we were banned from circumcising our children. You know, we made ourselves physically uncircumcised, we made us spiritually uncircumcised before the most high, Yahweh Shai. Exactly. You know, circumcision of the heart, circumcision of the heart, hence come um, circumcision of the heart. You know, you know, we started following those people, their ways, just like. You know, draw tattoos on our body and all that thing when we're in the world. You know, draw different kinds of madness. Exactly, that's we followed. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We're not supposed to be yeah. putting on tattoos. Like it's I have tattoos and all those things, and I even tried taking some of them off, but you know, it's crazy, man. You know, but when we were in the world, we were mad. We were, we were mad, man. We were zombies. We were dead. You know, and now these dead bodies are rising up. These people don't like it. You know, yeah, they want you to continue they being a nigger. They want you to continue <laughs> being a nigger, man. Can't. You know, being black. Can't. <laughs> Can't. Yeah. So, you see, when you come across these verses where it speaks about the Jews, then the Greeks, you know, the Gentiles and Jews, speaking about the remnant of Israel that were carried away into the ordinances and practice of other nations where they find themselves, they became like those nations. Yeah. So these are the people he's speaking of. Okay? Read on. Uh, Romans. Romans 9. Okay. 
Romans 9.24 It says, Even us whom he has called, not of the Jews because only. Because remember, in Israel was left only the southern tribe, which were the Jews. And the word Jews contains three tribes, you know, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know, that's where the word Jews come from. So you see the people in, 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 in Israel today, they call themselves Jewish people, you know, in which they are not Israelites, man. <laughs> it makes no sense. If they say they are Jewish, then what about the, the rest of the tribes? Where the heck did they go? So you see, that's why he's speaking, because here he was speaking to the Jews, he was speaking to, the, to those, um, those who knew that they were Jews, man, that they were Israelites, okay? Yeah, because by this time, you know, all Israel has been scattered Can. all over the world, you know. So the gospel is not only for the one that left in Israel. This is what Paul is saying. Can. The but gospel is not only for those who lived in Israel, but yeah. also for those who were scattered. Exactly. Okay. Which later become the Gentiles, you know. So the door is open for them for repentance, you know. Exactly. Read on. Even us whom he has called not, oh, we have called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles, as he said also in Hosea, which is Hosea. Hosea, okay, yeah. that's the Greek Greek way of saying Hosea, yeah. okay, in which on uh, the book of Hosea, we already went through it, so if anyone needs, you know, deeper understanding on this, I would really advise you to go watch the, the lesson we did on the street teaching, you know, it was, it's a two hours, 20 minutes video, and we really went in from, you know, how our people became, brought out lots of precepts, you know. This is just touching a little bit on some on some precepts that's bugging people out, you know. Yeah. So, Hosea is very, very symbolic of what um, the Apostle Paul is, 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 is quoting from, you know. It represents um, how Israelites became um, prostitutes, man. Because um, we were married to the Most High Yah, Bashim and what marriage means to be joined together, okay? We broke that covenant, we started following after other deities, just like you marrying a wife, and all of a sudden she starts going around and fucking all the people around, you know? She becomes an adulteress, so we became an adulteress. Then according to the law, if a woman is an adulteress, uh, a judgment is death, man. Or a man that's an uh, a man cannot be an adulterer. A woman that's an well, a man that a man can be an adulterer. That's if you go and sleep with another yeah. another man's wife. Yeah. You know, so you are an adulterer. You know, so either ways, he or a man or a woman can be an adulterer. So once you have a covenant with the Most High and you break off that covenant and start worshiping other other nations, you become we became adulterers. You know, and the Most High cut us away, but. He said he was going to come back to us again you know yeah. that's exactly what the book of Hosea is saying we wouldn't go into it but we'll just read it now to just let you know that you know Apostle Paul is not just bringing a new doctrine he's speaking always pointing back to the Old Testament yeah. you know yeah I will call them my people which we are not my people and have the law which was not the law and it shall come so to you pass. see i'll call them my people which were not my people yep. because we we, we 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 stopped from being the people of the most high by going after the 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 the, 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 the deities of other nations you know okay but 26 and but he says he's going to call us back yeah you see he didn't say we call another people he will call us back yeah read on and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them you are not my people. There shall they be called the children of the living So you power. see, in the places where it was said unto us that we are not the people of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, just like these Christians are coming after us, telling us, oh no, you can't be the people of, of the Most High. Everyone is the people of the Most High, mm -hmm. you know? So the Most High just, you know, developed some kind of brain problem and he doesn't know his people anymore. Then he chose everybody. Mm -hmm. That's well, what the Christians are saying, him. man. <laughs> These Christians, they have, <laughs> they are mad. Just let me leave it like that. So, you see, can what does it say in the light? It says, yet ye, it says, where we were, we, were, we, were, we were referenced and not as not the children of the Most High, we shall be referenced as the children. Just like now, we're called blacks, 
we're called Africans, we go by the names of Italian, we go by the names of Greek, Jew, and all different kinds of these things. Nigeria, Nigeria Ghana. Ghana, and all that thing. So you see, the time is coming in which you'll be called the sons of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, and that time is coming real soon. Okay? You can keep reading because they just, read... Just like now, we are proclaiming we are the children of the Most High, you know, but people say no. You know, but we are, yeah, they are, they are telling us because our head has woke up. They are not telling us, look, you are the sons of God. Wake up, you know, stop living like Gentiles, you know. I should, I should continue. Yeah, because you see, these Christians, they read this verse, they pick, they cherry pick the scriptures that they like right. and they leave the rest. Right. Now, in this scripture right here, if you read all the, uh, all the way down, verse 27, that's with what um, Isaiah says. He says, Verse 27. He said, That's Romans 9 27. He uh, said, Esias, which, Esias is Isaiah. which is the Greek way of saying Isaiah. Yeah. Okay. Esias also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. So you see, um, <laughs> and he keeps speaking about Israel. Isaiah. Um, he keeps speaking about the prophecy of the prophet Isaiah. Yeah. You see, he says, Though our number be as the sand of the sea, a remnant is going to be saved. Yeah. You know, we were carried away onto these dumb idols. A remnant is going to be saved. Now, if you go get the book of Isaiah, the 10th chapter, that's where um, the Apostle Paul is quoting from. Is it 10 or 11? Uh, it's 10. 10. It's the 10th chapter. Twenty-two and twenty-three. Okay. This Isaiah ten. No, read from twenty-one. Okay. No. Oh, read from verse twenty. Okay, verse twenty. He said, "And it and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them." And who is that person that smite, smiting us right now? Esau Edom under this law, this democracy, which which is nothing but you know witchcraft, man. Demo, if you break the word democracy, crazy means rule. Okay, demon goes to demonic power, the rule of the demons. That's what democracy actually means, you know. So they are smiting us with different taxes, with different kinds of laws and all that thing, you know. So you see. He says, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Okay? Because when Yahweh Shai, our Savior, comes back, he's going to collect this kingdom back from the hands of the wicked that are ruling right now. And the kingdom is going to give, be given back into the hands of its natural owners, who are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos, as you see behind Okay. Yeah, you know, now we are no longer calling ourselves black, you know, calling ourselves British, uh, England, America. Now they're angry. They're calling ourselves Israel. They don't want that. You know, they want us to continue being black American, African American, uh, Nigeria, you know. And one thing I need to stress out, okay, is our oh, Israelites are not necessarily looking like the way we look, okay? We have Israelites in all parts of the world. Yeah. We have Israelites looking like Chinese, like Japanese, like so-called Edomites, looking like anything under the under the sun, man. Okay? But how do you know you're Israelites? Spirit. If your spirit accepts this truth that we're teaching, then very probably you're Israelites. If your spirit accepts this thing and your spirit leads you, and tells you that you know what we're saying is true. If your spirit tells you that you know those names that we call Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, if your spirit tells you that those what we're saying is true, then you are a child of Israel because only the sons of Israel can receive and accept this truth. That's a programming from the Most High Yahweh Shai. It doesn't matter if you're a professor, it doesn't matter on how much you've studied or whatever. As a matter of fact, the Most High has turned this truth and he has made it a stumbling block to those who call themselves the, the learned ones, you know? 
So this lesson is going longer than we, we actually expected it. We should continue a little bit, mm -hmm. okay? So what the brother is saying is that it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter where you are, what part of the planet you find yourself, you know? The scriptures say that the, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the planet, inhabited in all the four world, corners of, four the, corners earth, of the world, you know? So then the end shall come. This is why it must be preached all over the places because we have been scattered all over the world, you know? So that's why you have the GMS Italy. We are right here in Italy. We're doing the ministry. We have brothers in Finland, in Germany, in Holland, um, in Africa, different countries of Africa. You know, we have brothers all around the place. The most, most especially the internet is the instrument on which the Most High is using to push this gospel onto the four corners of the earth and you can get the precepts of the of the internet in the in the in the book of psalms the 19th chapter okay i believe the fourth verse it tells you about how the most i has used the internet to reach out to the world man so yeah there we go yeah verse 22 for though thy people israel be as the son of the sea that was what the apostle paul was quoting okay yeah yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed decrees shall overflow decreed shall with overflow righteousness. righteousness. So you see, though you know many of our brothers are going to be slain, because remember, two thirds of our people, two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed alongside with the wicked. You know, that's speaking of the land of Babylon. And outside of Babylon, I believe also two thirds, man majority of our people are going to be destroyed right. you know because they've chosen to continue to follow those ways of those Eden so they are counted as Gentiles man yeah. they are not Israelites as for now yeah because many of them have heard this uh, they've heard it true. the truth but they, re they rejected it you, you know. see so yeah. because they are still Gentiles now yeah. you know you become really an Israelite once you accept this truth yeah. and once you start walking according to this truth that's when you become an Israelite yeah. now from here you see, speaking about all this, um, this thing that we're speaking about, this mystery of the Gentiles and the Israelites, it's a mystery, you know? Yeah. That's why the Ap Apostle Peter also said it in the second book of Peter, the third chapter, let's get it, the third chapter, the 15th verse, you know, that's why he, he, was, he was emphasizing it that the point is actually in verse 16. Let's read um, verse 16. You know, he was saying that, oh, um, it is let, let's read it we'll read from 15. yeah this is second peter 3 verse 15 he said and account that the suffering of our that lord long suffering a long suffering of our lord is salvation even as our beloved brother paul also according to the wisdom given unto him that written unto you as also in all his ep ep epistles epistles which epistles are letters you know yeah which you see um book, all these books that you see in the bible in the new testament they are all epistles they are letters you know they were written to the israelites spread in those various parts of the world in the israelites they were in italy the israelites they were in ephesus in which i believe it's modern day turkey the israelites that were all around the place man you know so these were the letters that apostle paul was, was writing to them okay read on as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of those things in which are some things hard to be understood. Things that are hard to be understood, man. In order for you to understand this first, the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Al Shai Rukakodash needs to sup with you. Yeah. If the spirit is not supping with you, then forget it, man. <laughs> if you don't get it, forget it. <laughs> So you see, this is a this is a mystery. It's a stumbling block, you know. It's a wake up call. It's a stumbling block. So this is how the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has done this. That's why the Scripture tells you that many are called but few are chosen. Yeah, because it's not meant for everybody. It's to not meant for it. everybody to get yeah. it, man. And He also tells you that the way that leads to life is narrow, and only a few will find it, man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Having said this, you know, let's get a quick precept in the book of um, Ezekiel. 37 19. Then after that, we read one more precept and we close this lesson. Let's finish it or just jump. Oh, let's jump. We've gotten. Okay. Can't 
understand you can go read the rest for yourself you know that was the point we just needed from there um ezekiel 37 19. Ezekiel 37 verse 19, he said, Say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribe of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. So when you go into that word stick, it tells you plant, you know, that's why you see whenever we go out to teach, we have the 12, tri 12 tribe shot, just like you can see. Let me see if I can focus the camera right there. So as you can see, we have the 12 tribe shot whenever we go out to teach. That's what Ezekiel is speaking about, you know, telling them of who they are really are, what their heritage is, you know. So you get, you get the point. Read on. Verse 20. And the stick, we are upon. Thou write it shall be in thy hand before thy eyes, before their eyes. 21. And say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahoshai, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen. Okay? He's not saying he's going to take a new people or he's going to take the heathen. There, right there, is a separation. I will take the children of Israel from among the Eden, whether they be gone, and we gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. So you see, this thing is all about the children of Israel. Now, if you deny this, and it this means is the prophecy. this is the prophecy, man. This thing will happen in the end time. So this is not talking of how we're going to bring the whole world. How can everybody be in the land of Israel? Does it how does it make sense? <laughs> everyone just all of a sudden becomes uh, Israel. Everyone will just leave the whole part of the world and go to Israel and leave. It doesn't make any sense. This is not what the Bible is saying. It's talking about the sons of Israel, man, that are, they were scattered yeah. due to captivity, you know, yeah. and due to all these alienations, you know. So that's what it's speaking about, man, you know. It says it's going to gather us from every corner where we've been scattered amongst the hidden, okay, amongst the hidden. <laughs> it's going to pick us, you know. And it, we're going to inherit back our land, yeah. you know, just like you know, and I, um, bastards are dwelling in Ashdod. And Ashdod represents Israel, you know, bastards are dwelling in our land right now. So in order to close this lesson, let's get to the book of um, Baruch, the second chapter, the 30th verse, you know. But you can read from maybe verse 20, 25 or so. Can. Anyway, read from verse 30 like that. It's good. This is Baruch 2, verse 30. It says, For I know that they would not hear me because it is a stick neck. So you see, you can read from verse 28. Sorry. So you let the people understand that it's the children of Israel he's speaking of. You yeah. know? Uh, verse 28, Baruch 2, verse 28. It says, As thou speakest by the servant Moses in the day, when thou did command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying... So you see, the law was actually given to the sons of Israel. It wasn't given to the whole world, man, you know. And we were told, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this great multitude shall be torn into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Okay? <laughs> Which is, you should also mark this one too, <laughs> because you see... It says, uh, we shall be scattered, you know. And it says in verse 30, read. For I know that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. We are a stiff-necked people, you know. That's why most of our brothers, you know. Hard-headed. They are hard-headed, man. You know, they prefer to go after their their hearts, their imaginations. They, 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 pursue, they pursue their dreams. That's why they sleep, because in order for you to pursue your dream, you must really be asleep. In this kingdom, they are dead. They are not even asleep, man. They are dead. Dead bones all around. You know, with the Lamborghinis and videos and all that BS, you know. So read on. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. 
So in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. So Yahweh Shimei Oshai Ratazah, we are part of that remnant that's going to remember themselves in their land of captivity. Because we are right here in the land of our captivity right now, you know. And the Most High has had the mercy of giving us this truth, you know. Bringing us back into the heritage of who we are, you know. The promise was given to the seed of Jacob, which is Israel, you know. So, when you're reading the scriptures and you come across all that Gentiles, Greek, it's all speaking about the Israelites, you know. When he speaks about the promise for the Gentiles, you know, for the Gentiles coming back into the fold, it's speaking about the Israelites who became Gentiles, okay? Be strong and hold on fast. Let's get that revelation. Hold on fast to that which you have, you know. Because they have agents going around now, you know, trying to, trying to take off this precious thing that you have. They want you to be part of their congregation of the dead. You know, he said, I think it's the third chapter. Khan is somewhere here. He said, Behold, yeah. Khan. Yeah, this is Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast, whose star has that no man take thy crown. So you see, Hold fast which thou has, that which you have, which is this truth, man. Yeah. Let no man take it away from you because they're coming with all different kinds of trickery, you know, throwing bad sh black shades and wicked shades on the Hebrew Israelites. And amongst the Hebrew Israelites, we know majority of the camps are sold out. You know, they are sold out. They're also agents. And I'm going to repeat, we're not paid to do this. This is not a publicity. The camp that teaches the 100% truth is great millstone. There is no two ways about it. Don't be deceived if you have anything else to add. So hopefully this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shemiel Shai. You know, the Gentiles that are being spoken of to receive the promise are the sons of Israel. Would like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Until the next one, shalom.